Catfish just don't want to hit today. Got the shad and the night crawler out there. I don't want none of it. Oh, the year just got hit because I was talking about that. Bass boys fishing. What up, guys? Bass boys here. As you can see, we're carrying a lot of stuff. We're going cat fishing today. Got a tangle to start off 15 seconds into the video. Ready this clip. Good? Yeah. Alright. Let's put these poles. These are ultralight poles. We'll probably be doing some ultralight fishing too while we're waiting for the cats to bite. So, for bait today, we got something a little different. Using some big giant shad. Frozen shad, cut bait, you know, that kind of thing. So, gotta wait for these to thaw. It'll take a bit. So, so maybe uh, we'll use night crawlers while we're waiting for that stuff to thaw. All right, guys, for gear today, or for our setup today, I mean, we're just using a simple Carolina rig. Probably the simplest catfish rig out there. Just a uh, big sinker and this is only like a two ounce sinker or something barrel swivel i usually put a bead to protect the knot so it isn't like pounding into the knot all day and then for a hook we're using just kamigatsu circle hook i think in the three out size ryan's gonna be putting this night crawler on there since the shad is thawing we're gonna wait a little bit shit on my hands. Ryan's already got uh, warm shit on his hands. But yeah, it's a shake for your ugly stick. I don't even know if they make this kind anymore. I haven't seen it. It's got like the big giant guides on it. It's uh, just medium heavy. It's a sensitive tip. Kind of has some bend to it. Ugly stick catfish, the white one. Shakespeare and then the uh, catfish special reel. And I'm using, I believe that's 40 pound mono. And for this one, I'm using a Sandy Cooper rig with a big float and then the sinker. I have a clip like this to hold the, the weight. It just slides on here with the beam. So I'm going to be testing that out today. I've used it before, but I haven't. Like, haven't used them for a while. So yeah, we're gonna do that. Use that. And that's an eight foot. It's a two-piece. And I forgot to mention the ugly stick right here. The reel is just a Akuma Stratus. Um, some old reel that I just bought the stick on there. And I think that one's got like 30 pound on it, mono. Yeah, if you're uh, interested in any of the gear, I always put it in the description for you guys to look at if you want to purchase it. Play. That's the first cast. All right, we're in business. Yeah, there's our shed. I bought it from a bait shop. Hoping it's not so old last year, but I'm thinking it might be. But shed's usually good when you freeze it right after. If they caught it and froze it quickly, it should stay pretty fresh. But I spent 20 bucks for uh, four of them like that, so a lot of money to buy it. I'm using Bobby Garland? Yeah. Both just using the Bobby Garland. Oh, it's in your head. Oh, God. Oh, well, we already got a blooper here. Hook, hook in the head. Gotta get this out now. So I already got a hook in this new hat here. Stuck in there and I gotta get it out. Every day we get the hook stuck in something. So I gotta get this out. Alright guys, so we got the hook out of the hat situated. So, 
I got the camera on the chest now, so now you can hopefully get some action now. Also, what I'm using, it's a Shimano Sedona 1000 series with the St. Croix Panfish series, six foot ultra light. I'm not using the same thing. Bobby Garland with a two inch minnow. So, uh, didn't do that well. The shad's thawed. Let's see if there's any fish just hanging around the shore. Could get catfish channel cats too with this. I got something, Ryan. Oh, he just popped off. I think it was a crappie. It seems like I ran into one fish over here in the first cast, but I don't know where the other ones are. I think I, there we go. There we go. A little crappie. A little crappie. Mm hmm. How small this crappie is, and look at how much he inhaled. He didn't really inhale it, but he somehow got that jig. Let me down there. Let's pop down a little bit. Oh, these guys are, should be around here. Tons of them. Ah, dang it. Another little bite. Missed him though. Seems to be hitting it when I'm reeling. Usually they hit it when it's cast it and it's dropping. As soon as I go over there, switch spots, Ryan catches a crappie. So every time I move, he gets something. Well, it looks like he got the bad luck off. Finally. What is it? Bat oh, it's a white bass? Yeah. Yeah, I just. All right, there it is. A little white bass. Ryan's release shot here. He's stumbling. Rabbit. This fish is trying to get away. He's trying to dig into the ground. So over here in the corner. Usually a pretty good spot come the spring. Yeah, I already had something hit it there. Again. Yep, there he is. Something. Looks like it's another one of those white bass. Yeah. All the white bass. This one might actually be a yellow bass. You know, I think it's a white bass. These things, this is another thing that tends, they don't really like growing here. They seem to get stunted. Let's see if there's any more. chunk on. I'm gonna do the battle of the bait. It's gonna be the night crawler for Shad. It's kind of just hooking on the top here. Poke it out and then get the scales off. See, 
changing the bait or putting something else out there. See if they prefer it over the night crawler. This reel always makes a loud sound casting. That's one thing I don't like about it. I don't know where this rod is, but I'm gonna cast this. Wasn't as bad as I thought. I'm gonna put the clicker on this one. All right, so get that out. Got that clicker. We got this one. This one, uh, it's been sitting out there for a while. But we're gonna see which one gets a bite first. So Shad vs. Nightcrawler for Channel Cats. That'll probably be the title. I'm gonna guess the Shad's gonna get hit first. Ryan's getting his, uh, his tied back on after that mess. Mess of line. But yeah, we'll watch these. Go, got another crop, you think? Yep. Another little crappie. Seem to just be all over these shores. Another one. Where are the bigger ones though? That's a question. I think we're gonna make a move here. Cause you know, we mainly came out here try to get a channel cat bite, so we're gonna move to another spot. Got a lot of stuff we gotta pack, so we're gonna go over there. All right, here we are at the new spot. So, we're gonna see. Nightcrawler on the right rod and Shad on the left rod. Now we will ultra light fish while we wait. Oh my god, he popped off. That was a that was something else. That was a bluegill. God dang it, man. I just had a fish and <laughs> I was trying to hit the record button. <laughs> and I hit it and then it popped off. Yeah, guys, no hits on the cat rod still. <laughs> Nothing. I don't know if we gotta wait till it's darker, but I don't know. All right, guys, it's been a little while here. You can see, it's getting dark out. I don't know if the camera, and the camera kind of picks up. It looks lighter sometimes than what it is, but by about, about an hour since I picked up the camera. Still got the shad on the white rod and the night crawler on Ryan's rod. I've only went through one piece of shad so far, so <laughs> just the one piece that I cut. <laughs> I might switch it out. A little bit if I don't get a hit, maybe I'll switch it out with something else. Had to put the gloves on here, it's getting a little bit chilly. The wind over here is for some reason it's like windy over here, it's making me cold. So, got one. So, Ryan got a bluegill. Oh no, it's a crappie. No, oh my god, this guy with the bluegills and crappies. I just saw the lip. It's a tiny ass <laughs> crappie. <laughs> Pretty small. Many crappies.
got another crappy, another crappy fall on the floor. Oh, dirt, I mean. Wow, well, they got to turn the light on. Another little crappy. Oh, you doing that? And he dropped it again. <laughs> using that fish. Fish didn't like being dropped twice. What's going on with the catfish? I don't know. Just not here today. That a, a nibble, man. We even have one takedown. Catfish just don't want to hit today. Got the shad and the night crawler out there. They don't want none of it. Oh, the ear just got hit. As I was talking about that. All right, guys. Well, anyway, to get out one in video. Can you get that light out of my hand? Hurry, hurry. Get the fish in the field. <laughs> we were saying that we're gonna get a channel. Is the channel bike gonna start right now? There it is. There's the channel. We completed it, so the night crawler is in the league. We were just saying we didn't get one bite, and here we go. Here we go, guys. I'm surprised. We'll shine the light when I get it all hooked here. Right in the bottom of the lip. Come right out. Here, let me get it. Put this down. Look at this. Shine the light. So there he is. It's a weird, like, yellow color. Shot. Gotta put him in. Is anybody else? It just to be like bait almost <laughs> for somebody. <laughs> but that's funny. There he goes. That's so funny though. We were literally talking about it, man. We were sitting there talking about how the channels weren't biting all day. And then there you go. We get one. Got that little channel. Gonna have to sit here and hold this light now if I wanna be able to capture. I mean, these rods go down. The other one's on a clicker, so you really don't need to shine a light on that one. All right, guys, Ryan was getting some hits. I was about to call it, call it pack it, pack up, but we'll just see if we can see if this fish will hit. Just bounce. Hit. It almost looks like there's something. Yeah, it's playing with it right now. I can tell. You can see the line, maybe in the video, you might be able to see it. Yeah, not really. Yeah, so we're about to wrap it up here. And we caught one tiny channel but it's better than nothing. We had another channel, but it never went, the rod never went down. It was just playing with it. We caught a couple of small crappies, a small white bass. It was a decent day, I guess. Better than usual. Yeah, so a lot of the fish we caught today were small. You know, those crappies were like, I don't know, four inches maybe. And the, uh, what else? What else did we catch? Oh, the white bass. So, yeah, they're all like tiny, but at least some action. We haven't been seeing much of that lately, but the last few videos have been pretty good. I've been seeing fish getting active, so that's good. Spring's coming, and um, and yeah, so the challenge today, 
we have the Shad versus the Nightcrawler. So the Nightcrawler ended up winning today. One to nothing. So it might just be that it's not the time of the year for the Shad yet to use the Shad cut bait and stuff. So, so the worm wins for now. But uh, be sure to be watching the channel. We're going to be going somewhere tomorrow. Hopefully we get some fish there, otherwise we won't have a video on it. So, be sure to watch out for that. And if you haven't already, uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bass Boys, we fish for a living.